you don't want to rent to bossy people. So when you do your screening and you find that someone is incredibly bossy, you know, alarm bells need to be going off in your head that you don't want to rent to this person, right? We get into real estate investing to make our lives better to make our lives easier, to create passive income for ourselves and our families. If you get a bossy tenant that tries to set the relationship up, right, right at the very beginning, right, when you're screening these people, you never have as much leverage as that in the relationship. That is the most leverage you'll ever have. That is the pinnacle of the leverage, right? Because if you put them in your property and then six months later you realize, man, I hate this motherfucker. You can't just call him up like, hey, Bob, I fucking hate you. You have to move on to my property tomorrow, right? It doesn't work that way, okay? So if this person gets into your property and they're making your life miserable, it's going to cost you time, money, and effort to actually get them out of there, right? So when you're screening your tenants at the very beginning, if you get that bad feeling about them, that's when you have to make the decision to cut them. Never try to go for the easy money. If you think they're going to be a bad tenant, if you think they're bossy, you need to get rid of them right then and there. And they'll do things, right? They'll try to dictate the terms of the relationship, right? Like you want to show them, hey, the showing's at 4 o'clock on Sunday. They're like, no, 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 no. That doesn't work for me, dude. We'll do it this time, right? They're trying to you know, create that dominance in the relationship. They're trying to make you feel like you're like their waiter at the local fucking Red Lobster or something, right? That's not how this relationship works, man. A tenant is not even really your customer, folks. You need to realize a tenant is actually more like your employee. If they follow your rules, if they do what you tell them to do, if they follow the procedures you have put in place, they will do what? They will make you money. If they don't, you know, you set a lease and your lease says you got to pay rent on the first. If they don't follow your rules, they don't pay your rent, what are they doing? They're not making you money. Is that person still your customer? No, of course not. That person is actually actively ruining your business, right? So you need to treat them more like an employee and you got to set that relationship up right from the beginning. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.